Hello, I'm Sean Bragdon, a managing partner of BGA Insurance. I want to thank you for attending our webinar today. Uh, today we have uh, Lucas Siegel and Chris Manning of Harbor Life Brokerage. They have uh, an incredible life settlement auction system. So if you're talking to any of your existing clients that have some life insurance policies they may not want anymore, uh, this is an ideal solution to be talking to Harbor Life Brokerage. You're going to get the best offer uh, in the industry using their settlement auction. Um, so, you know, think about some of your business clients. Maybe they have some buy-sell coverage. They're retired. They no longer need it. You can even do term conversions on a, on a life settlement. Uh, we're also going to go over a few other topics, including a, a, a unique premium finance rescue platform, you know, with interest rates uh, where they are today. You might have some clients uh, complaining about their premium finance transaction, and there is a solution out there that can help them. Some other topics would include a policy loan rescue. Uh, they also have a, a, a policy predictor for settlements, so you can instantly plug in a case to see if it might have some value. But uh, well, without further ado, Lucas, why don't you start us off? Thank you so much. Thank oh, you for one having other, me. One, one other thing, uh, if you guys have any questions, just type it into the chat box. We'll monitor that and we'll ask, answer your questions along the way. Thank you guys so much for having me. Um, it's an honor to be here and it's an honor to work with such a great firm. Um, so thank you guys for everything that you do and uh, excited to move forward. So guys, my name is Lucas Siegel. I'm the CEO and founder of Harbor Life Brokerage. And um, we're ecstatic to be presenting to you guys today. Let me share my screen real quick and uh, and we can get we can get rolling. Great. So today is about unleashing client liquidity and what it really means to be in fiduciary excellence and how that works with life insurance. And we're also going to be talking about our new loan program, uh, which is a really great, innovative new solution that is completely unique to the market. It's brand new. Um, and there's a ton of use cases and a lot of ways to make additional revenue for your guys' shop um, and help clients at the same time. So at Harbor Life, we believe in building intuitive technology that helps producers and consumers make better financial decisions. We do this with a robust and extreme version of what we call transparency, because we think that consumers can't make the best decisions that they want to, and producers can't make the, help their clients make great decisions without radical transparency. In, in what assets are worth. And we believe that when people know what their assets are truly worth, they can only then make the best financial decisions to help their family in the future. So on top of that, we believe in creating incredible revenue for the people that we work with and being really good partners in that. So, 57% of retirees have life insurance. You guys know that because you guys are the ones that helped sell it and have helped create this beautiful statistic. Um, one of the issues though is 87% of all that life insurance never gets paid out to the families. Our job is to help drop that number. Our, our job is to help you guys um, do the best that we all can do to make families' lives better and make a great living at the same time. It's doing well and doing good. So the way we do that is what we call a consumer lapse protection program. And because of your guys' relationship with BGA and our relationship with BGA, any single person on this call now has a shop that is part of their, an extension of their own team that does ha have a consumer lapse protection program. So you guys, because you're on this call, have a consumer lapse protection program to take care of your clients. And the consumer lapse protection program really is broken out into two main categories. One is life settlement. Um, and the other one is our premium finance and loan rescue program, which works for any IUL, or whole life policies that have cash in them and want to access that cash while retaining a death benefit or um, loans on them. 
So we're going to start today talking about life settlements and then get into the premium finance and loan rescue program a little bit after. Selling your policy versus surrendering it, if it's eligible for a life settlement, is really a no-brainer. Um, on average, it's seven times more than the cash surrender value. The problem is that people don't know that they can sell it. And producers have found it difficult and, quite frankly, a pain to figure out if it qualifies for life settlement. So we're going to go over how we've developed world-class technology to fix those problems so that your clients can get more for their policy and you guys can get more in your production income. Why would someone want to sell their life insurance? You know, I sold them a great policy. Why would anyone want to get rid of this? A lot of reasons. Um, people's financial needs change as they get older. Lives change. And what made sense at one point doesn't make sense now. Or there's a bigger need, a bigger need like medical bills or funding their retirement. Um, reducing monthly expenses Peace of mind, senior living, wanting to give back charitable donations while they're still alive and they can see the great work happening. Put their grandkids through college and watch their graduation knowing that they paid for it. There's so many reasons. Um, you know, people get life insurance a lot of times to protect the kids. And sometimes their kids get older and they don't need the coverage, but the parents are still undergoing the expense. There's so many different reasons, and our job is not to push someone to sell their life insurance policy. Um, our job is to arm people with the knowledge about what that policy's secondary value is. So you, the producer, and the family can make the right decision for that family. Who's eligible for a life settlement? And I'm just going to back up. Um, Many of you guys are going to roll your eyes because you already know this. But a life settlement is selling your life insurance policy to a third-party institutional investor so that you get cash now instead of having to wait until you pass and you never have to pay a premium again. That's what a life, that's what a life settlement is. Um, so who can qualify for this? Anyone over the age of 70 or someone who has significant health impairments. We typically, the market's really trading at, they like to see anything under 16 year life expectancy. Um, and so that's why we put that 70 year old kind of bucket there. It's gotta have a policy of over a hundred thousand dollars and the types of policies for a traditional life settlement, universal life, variable life, whole life, convertible term, SUL, survivorship, index, universal life. The universal life chassis is really great. Um, the market really loves it. And uh, conversions can be really lucrative for producers. So um, that's, that's, the, that's the type of policies that we work with. So as you're thinking about this presentation, just start thinking about, do I have people that fit those types of categories? And we do free underwriting at Harbor Life. Think of us, remember, as an extension of your business. We're your partner, we're your back office, and we're here to help you. So if you've got a case, it's like, oh, I'm not totally sure, but this might work. We'll walk you through it, and I'll show you some tips and tricks and tools that we have to help make that go a lot faster. Um, so how does the market work? You've got over here, you've got people that represent the insured. So the producer, the insured and their family, and then the broker, which is us. And we have the best interest of the family in mind in the transaction. Then you've got people on the other side of the transaction. These are the buyers. You've got the investor, you've got a fund, and you've got a provider. So, Many times we've probably seen the commercials uh, where online on TV, that's like, sell your life insurance, sell your life insurance, call this number. Those people 
unless it's our ads, we're the only broker in the country that's run television ads. Um, if you see those ads, just know that you're not selling to someone who has your best, in, your best interest at heart. You're selling to people on this side of the transaction. So what we call that, we're going to talk about different ways the market works. What we call that is the low information arbitrage approach, which is those ads you see on TV, billboards, radio. And those are the people that are saying that there's no fee involved. Uh, I'll tell you why I put that in quotation marks in a second. Um, and that's a direct buyer. That's someone trying to buy it. Similar to like, if you've seen the We Buy Ugly Houses kind of billboards where they're just trying to buy it direct for the cheapest price possible. That's what that is. Um, and when they say that there's no fee, it's really a bit misleading um, because they're buying it for the lowest possible price. And then what they do is they buy it and they hold it for three, four months, and then they sell it to the people that we work with at a much higher price. We've seen cases where a direct buyer offered them recently $100,000. We put it up on our platform. We sold it for $330,000. And so, yeah, there's no fee, <laughs> but you gave them $200,000 less than the market would have bought it for. Uh, so that's, that's just a hidden fee. Then there's the traditional broker model. And this is this broker over here and they represent the insured. They go to, you know, three or more providers and um, those providers work with funds and they try and get some competitive quotes. The, the industry really calls com competition and competitive quoting is that you at least go to three to solicit bids. I don't think that's very competitive. I never thought it was competitive. And I used to work at a fund 15 years ago. And I thought, this is crazy. So we built something different at Harbor Life. And what we built is a brand new model. We've built the world's first fully transparent online exchange that has almost every single institutional buyer in the world in one place that forces them to compete against each other and drive the hell out of that price. And that's what we do because we represent you and we represent your families. Um, and instead of going to three, we go to all. And it makes for a much more competitive environment. I can show you a quick snippet of what this looks like. This is a demo site, so the names are, are redacted, but these are real cases where you know, you've know you got 88 years old, $402,000 policy, 53-month life expectancy. The current bid is 150000 11 bids so far. It's got 17 days, 3 hours, 40 minutes, and 20 seconds to go. And things like this, I mean, you've got one here, $100,000 policy with 27 bids. You can see some of these get really exciting. Here's 46 bids. <laughs> and the last couple of days just go crazy. So I'll show you what the final output of this is after. But that just gives you a, a pretty good idea of, of what we've built. And this is proprietary to Harbor Life. No one else in the world has this technology. And we built this because we're like, guys, this life settlement market's crazy. It should be way more transparent. People should be able to see bid history by the second, just like if you're selling your house. And we should have an MLS, just like if you're selling your house. So not everyone is just shelling to the We Buy Ugly Houses people. So that's what we built and it's transformed the industry. And we're on average getting, from our numbers, getting about 50% higher bids than the industry average. Because that's what happens when you fuel the beautiful pull forces of capitalism and competition. You get people to fight for these assets. And that's what we do. We love a good fist fight. So here's what an example of what an offer looks like. Just from a fiduciary perspective and a CYA to make sure that 
your client knows that you got the highest price in the market available. We produce this after an auction. So it shows bid history, nice graph of how the bids worked, uh, starting bid, ending bid. And then you can see bid history by the second. So you have an auditable, trackable trail to make sure that you know that you gave your clients the best bid and that the bids are totally transparent. And everyone gets this when they run an offer through us, uh, professionally built for you to present to your client. So sometimes I hear people saying, I won't do life settlements. Um, the carriers don't like them. Or I won't do life settlements. They're unethical. Little secret, carriers are doing life settlements. They're just cutting producers out of the transaction. Here are some quotes from John Hancock and Lincoln. We'd like to offer you an option that might, be, might better align with your current financial needs. Like many of our customers, you purchase life insurance policy for a specific goal in mind. What fit your needs and met your goals at that time may no longer work. These life insurance companies are trying to buy this risk off their books and cut the producers out of the transaction. They're not that life, life insurance companies don't do life settlements. They just want to do it themselves. <laughs> okay. And we're seeing it. So, so far, some of the effects of life insurance companies doing life settlements is that there's no price discovery. They're just sending these people a letter saying, please let us give you some cash above your cash surrender value so that you can drop it. But we know that the average life settlement is about seven times more than the cash surrender value. So there's no price discovery of what's going on right now. There's no transparency. The producers are cut out of the transaction. And so far, eight states are officially against it and more are flooding in because it's, it's not a good thing for consumers. So one of the big kind of pains in life settlements is figuring out what policy will work. Um, we built the WinFlex of life settlements that with this, with this partnership and you guys are on this webinar, you guys get free access to this tool and it's a quoting tool. It's an instant quoting tool. Uh, we hired some of the best mathematicians in the country and artificial intelligence designers. And we stuck 9,000 policies with optimized premium streams into artificial intelligence to build a prediction algorithm. It's kind of like Zillow. You know, you can go on Zillow and you can type in your address and it predicts what the value of your home is. You know that it's wrong, okay? When Zillow, when Zillow comes out with something, you know it's wrong. But at least it's an idea that gives you a kind of ballpark estimate about what a policy is worth. That's what we've built. It's called My Policy Predictor. You guys all get access to it free so that instead of taking months to figure out whether a policy will work or not for a life settlement, We've shrunk that process down through this technological advancement from months to minutes. And this is a quick little video of showing you how you can fill it out, fill in information, carrier, face amount, CSV, boom. Predicts a life expectancy, predicts what the commission will be and whether the client should do it if it's in their best interest or not. Give you some examples of life settlements. Um, here's Marlene, $2 million policy. She had $72,000 in cash surrender value. Her husband had passed. She didn't want the policy and she didn't want to keep paying premiums. She had $180,000 premium coming up. Um, so she was going to lapse it. What we did is we took it to market, we underwrote it, we took it to market. We got her $815,000. She was about to go for 
$72,000 in cash surrender value. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Waste of wealth. But luckily, we were there to help Marlene and do the right thing. Ruth, this was a conversion. Beautiful conversion product. Um, $1.7 million policy. But Ruth had some serious impairments. She had, she had, had a, a brain injury that was affecting her health. Um, she got a direct offer from someone advertising on TV that was a direct buyer that was very low. So what we did is we underwrote it. She said, I need to get a second opinion. I don't think this is real. Um, we underwrote it. We got her $380,000. Great. Totally great. Now, Life settlements are not always the right option. And I want to make this abundantly clear that we are a fiduciary. And if a life settlement is not in the client's best interest because of a living benefit rider, for example, we'll tell you. Um, this is an example of a case the client was, you know, he had MS and he was his, his he was deteriorating and uh, wanted to sell his policy. We did some underwriting and then we read through the policy and helped him get a living benefit rider because it was going to be a better offer for him than what we could have gotten on the open market. We didn't make any money, but it was the right thing to do. So question for the group, you know, do you have a client that's been missing premium payments? Do you have a client that has been eating into their CSV or complaining about premiums? Do you have a client that needs liquidity and could use the money for long-term care or any, or any other thing that they need? Clients that want to increase their quality of life or don't need the coverage because their kids are financially set or it was a, you know, some sort of a, a business policy and the, and, and the business is gone. Um, we are your dedicated back office team and specialists in this asset class. So just th Chris is on this call, throw them questions. Hey, what about this? Hey, what about this? I'm looking at this. We'll tell you, we'll be your internal underwriter. And it's a really fun service. Anything you need, we do free internal pricing. So next part of our consumer lapse protection program, I'm going to be talking about our premium finance and loan rescue. I love this program. It's brand new. We've spent years working on how to roll it out. And now that we have rolled it out, it's flooding the market because people really, really, really love what we're doing. What's the issue? The issue is what we're seeing all over the place. It's funny. When the government gives away billions and billions of dollars and prints money, it causes problems, okay? <laughs> um, one of those problems is a 235% increase in interest rates in a very short period of time. So the rising interest rate environment is changing the landscape of how people are looking at their assets. So people with whole life carrier loans, it's creating a problem. People with IUL and whole life bank loans, rising interest rates are definitely causing a problem. Premium finance cases, it's a problem but it's also an opportunity for people with cash in their IUL and whole life for redistribution of that cash. And I'm gonna get to how this program solves problems for you and the families that you represent and unlocks opportunities that you might not have thought of yet. says this is our solution it's got a boat our solution is not selling you a boat <laughs> um 
Hopefully someone smiled. I can't see because everyone's muted. Um, premium finance and loan rescue program. This is designed for policies with policyholders that have premium finance loans, carrier loans, traditional bank loans, or policies that have a lot of cash value. And someone wants to access that cash value, but you're thinking about new innovative ways for them to do that. We do this by refinancing while preserving the death benefit for the insured. But so they get additional coverage, but they don't have to pay any more premiums for the rest of their life. And they get a retained death benefit and they get their cash out. I'm going to show you how this is done, but it is a very cool financial innovation. There are, unlike a life settlement, there's no health and no age requirements on this program. No medical records are done and underwriting is very quick. What policies work? IULs work great. Whole life policies that have internal loans, external loans, or they have cash value. So everyone in the premium finance space, say goodbye to servicing debt, uh, collateral calls, calls from your clients complaining about collateral calls, letters of credit. A lot of stuff can be avoided through this. So let me show you how this program works specifically with premium finance loans. And then I'm going to show you how it works with whole life and non-premium finance loans. This is a case that we actually have in closing right now. And um, it's a tricky situation. The producer wrote a really good policy. Um, it hasn't performed exactly how they wanted it to, and there hasn't been enough time for it to bake in, but the client is very agitated. And rates have gone up tremendously since when, you know, premium finance uh, opportunity at three and a half percent is very different than a premium finance opportunity at seven and a half percent. So it's an IUL. They're 51 when they got it. They're 54 now. And it's a $53 million policy. It's got 3 million in cash value and 4.7 million in premium finance loans. So the client is in the hole 1.7 million on this, on this case. What can they do? Well, one option is they can retain the policy, but their premium finance loans is 7% and the annual premium is 3.7 million. And uh, they still owe a lot of money. So it's kind of a disaster. Um, but they've got a huge death benefit, 48 million. The client didn't want to do that. The client is complaining about collateral calls. So another option is they forfeit the policy. Well, they're going to have to come out of pocket 1.7 million to get nothing and to get no death benefit. That's not a good option. And that makes the producer, it, it hurts the producer's relationship with his client, even though it's self-inflicted because the client's getting out of the policy. Here's the new option. This is our, this is the loan for life program. Um, instead, instead of, instead of just lapsing it and getting nothing and, and putting $1.7 million in the trash, they can pay for the loan for life program, pay off the premium finance and a little bit extra. So 2.5 million. 
So $800,000 more than a surrender. And they get to keep a $47 million death benefit and never pay a premium again. Let me show you what it looks like. This is the retained death benefit right here. So up to age 100, that client is going to have $47 million of coverage for $800,000 more than what it would have cost to surrender it and get nothing. Pretty cool. Here's another example. It's a whole life policy issued at 49. Their current age is 54. Face amount is $7 million. They've got $732,000 in cash value and $986,000 in loans. So they're in the hole, 250 grand. Well, what are their options? They are talking about forfeiting the policy. That's not a good idea. If they forfeit the policy, they're going to have to pay that $253,000 in cash and be left with nothing, no death benefit. Or they can go with our program. They pay an additional 80,000 bucks, but they keep a $2 million death benefit for the rest of their life. So let me show you what it looks like. If they, for $84,000, if they were to pass, at, pass away at age 80, they'd keep $5 million in death benefit. And the lowest the retained death benefit would go is 2.2. For 80 grand difference. What a game changer. Next one is actually a policy that's not underwater. <laughs> I know I've showed you guys some horror stories, but um, we've seen a lot of them recently. But here's one where their current age is, is 59, and, or their, their current age is 72. It's a $5 million IUL. Um, $2.1 million in cash value, $2 million in premium finance loans. So they're up 176 grand. Well, most people would be like, well, why the heck would you ever lapse it? Well, you could have been tired of paying the premiums or just exploring other financial options. So here's what we can do for this guy. If he laps the policy and or forfeited the policy, he's going to have a $54,000 tax bill and he's going to be left with $121,000. Okay. And no, no death benefit. Or with our program, he's going to pay 93, he's going to get paid $93,000. So, $28,000 difference compared to lapsing it or forfeiting it. Um, only a $28,000 difference. And he keeps a $3 million death benefit. Now, this policy is very cool because for a little bit more money, in the end, the, because his cash value was positive of his loans, he's getting paid $193,000 and he's keeping a $3 million death benefit for life. It's awesome. So is this only for policies that have premium finance loans? No, this is really a good tax option for people that have internal loans to the carrier, bank loans, or they have a ton of cash in their life insurance policy. And instead of taking a loan from the carrier or taking a loan from the bank to get access to some of that cash, here's another option for people that have cash value in their IULs or their whole lives and want to access their cash 
want to keep a death benefit, but never want to pay a premium again. Let me show you some examples. Here's a whole life policy. The guy was 42 and his current age is 70. $3 million policy, got $1.1 million in cash, $844,000 in carrier loans. So he's got 319 grand in equity in this policy. He didn't want to keep paying the premiums. He was sick of it. So, and he's terrified of the debt that he has. Um, if he surrendered it, then he's going to have $127,000 tax bill and he's going to get 191 grand, but he's got no death benefit. Or with our option, the guy's going to get $200,000, $205,000 cash. So more than if he would have surrendered it, because this is going to be tax free and he's going to retain a $2 million death benefit. This is a no brainer. Now, because the client is older, the retained death benefit drops off much more than if he was younger. This program works really well with people that are under the age of 70. But this is an example. It's still getting more than if he would have surrendered the policy. And he keeps a death benefit. He's getting more cash. Here's an idea of how it works with no loans. It's 63-year-old. $1 million policy, $1.1 million, $300 in cash value. And they want to access some of their cash. Okay, well, I mean, they could always go to a carrier and get a loan, or they can go to a bank and get a loan, or they can use this loan for life program. So if they surrendered it, not much tax liability, no harm, no foul. He's going to get 332 grand out. With our program, he gets his cash out. He's going to get 303 grand of cash in his pocket, tax free. And he's going to retain a $400,000 death benefit. And he never has to pay a premium again. Pretty awesome. You know, if he lives to 80, it's 507 grand. Lucas, we have this a question uh, on the oh, yeah. rescue program. Uh, are there any inherent guarantees in the program, or is it really just a function of the performance of the whole life or the index UL product on, you know, what that retained death benefit might be? Um, How does that work, or is it, or even the interest rates on the on the platform? I guess you have a couple of moving targets on there. Yeah, it, so they're they're actually put on written in um, as a beneficiary for a certain amount on that policy. So there are guarantees on it. And the other thing is one of the questions, I'm just gonna predate a question that I get all the time because it's a very good question. So they're taking a collateral assignment on the policy. Um and there is no change of beneficiary unless it's done through the legal mechanism of a life settlement. Um, one of the questions, it's a great question. One of the questions I get a lot is um, what if, you know, you, you guys are saying that they'll stop paying the premiums. What if um, the private equity fund that's buying this, that's doing this transaction gets tired of the policy and wants to lapse it. And if my client was underwater and paid an extra 200 grand 
to keep that retained death, death benefit and never pay a premium again, and you guys and your fund decides he doesn't want it anymore, what happens to my client's 200 grand that he paid to keep that death benefit? Very good, you know, and I mean, that's a super fair question. What we've arranged is a, an, an amendment to their original proposal, and we've changed their program so that if the client paid an additional, let's say, let's say 500 grand, 200 grand, 100 grand, 50 grand um, to enter into this program versus what it would have cost them to surrender. And the private equity fund 10 years from now decides to surrender. The private equity fund has to put the difference back into the policy to leave it back with the, with the, with the insured. So there's no harm done to the insured, even in the worst case scenario. I see another question. They being the life settlement company, which is why this works, the life settlement company wants part of the death benefit. So they're fronting the cash to make this work. They being the life settlement company yeah, I mean it's a it's a private equity fund that that is so there's two ways that this program can work. It can just as far as legal structures. One is as a life settlement and one is as a loan. Okay? It's the same concept, it's just what structure is it put in to get the deal done. For premium finance cases that are underwater, we recommend doing it as a life settlement, but don't think of this loan program um, as a life settlement. It's just it's just filed that way. There's no medical underwriting or anything like that. Um, it was just the legal structure that needed to happen to that to make it work. Um, so for for cases that are super underwater, they're typically done as a life settlement through our program, and for cases that that actually have a bunch of cash in them and are not underwater, it's done as a loan. And we do that for tax reasons because it, it, it makes it a better transaction for the insured. So the, here are the states that this program doesn't work. Um, it's really a pain that California is on this list, but California is so hard to get anything passed through anything. And um, the private equity fund has been applying and applying and applying, and they are just a total pain. Um, we're hoping to get California on the radar and, and, and passed within the next 12 months, but it has been a long slog, and they are very anti-business in, in approving anything right now for us. Um, but all the other states work, and if, if, if a client is in one of these states, and, and and wants to look at this program, if they have property in another state, we can use that other state to do the deal. Um, we've got in-house case design for this program. So we work with you to make sure that this, this loan and this, and this transaction works the best as it humanly can for your, for your clients and, and we make tweaks to it. So I love this program because your client gets a life insurance policy and doesn't have to pay premiums. It's freaking awesome. And it keeps it on the books for you guys. Um, you guys stay the agent of record. So any residual um, payments that you get from the carer, you get them. It eliminates collateral calls, which we've been on call after call after call after call with people that are really upset about the continued collateral calls, especially with rising interest rates. And they get to keep a death benefit, which is the reason why you guys sold it in the first place. So I've talked a lot. <laughs> um, I want to introduce Chris Manning. 
who is the account director for BGA and this program here. He's got extensive life insurance and life settlement background. He actually used to work at a fund. I poached him from the dark side. Um, thank you guys so much for listening to this call. And uh, I really appreciate everyone's attention. Oh, actually, I'm going to keep sharing my screen. Um, please schedule some time with Chris. Because our goal is to just work with you and do a strategy session. Just one-on-one -on -one with Chris that says, look at, here are all the programs we have. Can this help move the bar for your business this year? Can we add an extra six figures to your business this year? Do any of these programs look like they could really help your clients? So please schedule a strategy session with Chris. Um, and Chris will be reaching out as well, but um, we'd really love to work with you and it'd be an honor to work with you and help you. And um, Chris, take it away. Yeah. I mean, I, I think Luke said a lot, guys, Sean, I want to, I want to thank you for, you know, the, the partnership that we've created and it's, it's been a pleasure not only working with you, but I know I see some, some people here that we've worked with. So really looking forward just to get to know every one of you. And especially if there's any of you that have, you know, current cases that you want to take a look at, you know, just, my link is in there, but you also have my email. It's it's Chris at Harbor Life Brokerage. So just looking forward to to meeting you guys, you know, seeing how I can help you and, and your clients. So again, appreciate you guys for joining. Sean, thank you so much. And yeah, I uh, hope to meet you all soon. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, again, everyone that attended, uh, it's a good opportunity to review your book of business. You know, hopefully you can, uh, you know, pull up your existing policies very easily. By the way, all policies written through BGA Insurance, we have a system that there's one login. You can access all your policies with one login. Uh, easy way to review your book of business, but you know, talk to Harbor Life Brokers, talk to Chris. There might be some settlement opportunities, some premium finance rescue opportunities, uh, and give us, give us a call at BGA Insurance. And uh, you know, thanks again for attending.